So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover this amazing lab and many of you are facing issue on this lab do not worry here is the updated guide and one very important thing is that if you are getting any kind of error I will tell you what kind of error you may get so first of all you need to just come over here and just start the lab and open the console and cognito window now if you are new to this channel to like the video and subscribe the channel now let's open it and then the first thing you have to do is that you have to just activate the cloud share just click on i agree and then click on I agree and continue and then you have to just activate the cloud shell just click on continue and then you have to just authorize yourself Now finally the cloud shell is ready. Let me increase the font size first of all. And then you have to just click on this gear icon and then click on text size and medium. You don't have to do this thing. Okay. You have to just come to the description box of this video. I've shared the repository. Come over here. Select it. Paste over here. Hit enter and just export the values carefully. Now the first is data set value when you click on start lab on the that side only you can see here we have some values we have to export it so just you can see data set name export the data set name carefully similarly for the bucket name export the bucket name carefully and then for the table name here is not table name you have to come to the this place basically the data flow job here you can see this customers underscore 956 it might be different for you so you have to just copy from here to here carefully and then just paste on the cloud shell and hit enter now bucket url where you find the bucket url it's present in task number three from gs you have to just copy the highlighted part make sure there is no extra space over here and hit enter similarly for task number four also just copy it carefully and if you make any mistake just click on this plus icon next to it and just rerun the command and export the values Now here if you get any kind of error like resource limit exceeded then you have to just restart the lab and try again. But if you are not getting do not worry about it. Here we have to just check the score and authenticate ourselves again. Do not worry I will show you everything.
now here once you see like this output you have to just click on this account url let me show you how you have to do and you have to just authenticate your user id so let me show you how you have to do Let's click on this URL and you have to just select this one and just click on continue and then you have to just allow yourself you have to just scroll down and click on allow now just copy this that is the verification paste over here and hit enter and just wait for it to get completed and then we'll move forward to the lab instruction and check the score specifically for task number three and four and if your data flow job or data proc job is failing do not worry just restart the lab and just try to complete as you get the same zone i just wait for it to get completed here we have to move to the lab instruction and check the score specifically for the task number three and four come over here and just check the score like this now here both things are done just now type y and hit enter you can see we have got the score for data flow task only that means our jobs is succeeded so do not worry now for only one task is remaining again authenticate yourself just you have to select the student one okay you can just come over here and verify there is no any other username and password mentioned over here so you have to just authenticate using the lab one okay now here we are in this particular task basically run a simple job just select it just click on allow and then just copy the access here Now just paste and hit enter now wait for it to get created once it is created will be done with the lab guys and if you're facing any kind of error just wait for some time and check the score after the color cluster is successfully created and one more thing if you are getting resource limit exceeded just restart the lab and try again now it may take 5 to 10 minutes so you need to wait for it and once it's done We'll move forward to the lab and check the score so do not worry about it and if you want to complete other pre-assessment skill badges lab free courses you can check the description box i have attached the master sheet also and all resources are here
let's come to the lab instruction and check the score you can see we have just succeeded the job just run it like this and if you're unable to see this check my progress bar you can check the description box of this video so finally we're done with this challenge lab to like the video and subscribe the channel thank you guys have a great day